I'll uh, just putting this in the corner. There we go. I'm so good at it. Okay, we got a ready from both players, so let's get this thing started. Best of luck, guys. Game one will commence here in three, two, one. Tetris. Starting pieces are the same. Okay, yeah, everything seems good there. I don't have my noise gate on this scene. Hold on. This probably sounds like ass right now. This might be a bit better. Everyone coming up with their strange, wacky, and wonderful uh, versions of what SPS stands for. Cubby with uh, quite a bad misdrop on the left. Not going to cause him too much trouble, though. Spongebob Patrick Spongebob, okay, that might be my favorite. Got a top out from ID Kirby at just 79,000 points. Whilst I was adjusting my filter. We got it ready for both players, so let's get it started for game two. Best of luck, guys. Let's go in three, two, one. Tetris! Good emote, thanks. I uploaded it to Twitch myself. that email. I've seen it everywhere. It's almost like I stole it and used it myself. Very high left side of the board for Kirby. Going to get that second Tetris of the game. Oh wait, is it still exclamation mark Peyton? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the front page. There we go. Information de stream. Actualizada. No way. White monster, welcome to the chat. Or check with the current lead, 117. That S piece, uh. That's a nice S piece. Speaking of not nice things, we're all trying briefly buffering. Hopefully that's uh, only an intermittent problem. Okay. Let's refresh the stream. Okay. It was only an intermittent problem. Raw track stream is fine. Raw track at 132, Kirby at 126, but a Tetris for Kirby there moves to 148. Players trading Tetrises at the moment. Uh, seems to be a pretty even second game. Kirby not with an early tough out yet, unlike last time. Let's see if we can uh, yeah, push this second game a bit further. Holy shit, hello host. My wonderful boyfriend heist online in the chat. Yeah, 
You know what else is wonderful? This game of Tetris right here. Gorochak wants 71 sets of the L Tuck, but misses the L Tuck! A couple of burns that he really didn't have to take. Hey, how dare you? I, I have the best segues. A perfect well transfer. Uh, Tetris for raw check though. Oh, what a misdrop. Kirby completely clean. It has about a 70,000 point lead. And climbing that Tetris could have got Kirby 90,000 points. Head of the competition. The competition being at raw track, raw track. This is a quarter final matchup. Kinda wanna be check who the winner of this will be playing. I'm very curious about it. They'll be playing the winner of Wallbent and ZXVYA, who uh, are the next people to play after this. And I will be handing over the uh, formalities to the uh, champion of the summit himself, uh, Tugi. Well, I don't think he ever won the summit. I did, though. I won the last one of this. I'm the reigning champion. Fun fact. In case you didn't know, I did, uh, I did actually win season 16 of... Uh, the 4-5 Summit, beating T-Storm in the final 3-0. to Because I, I used to care about Tetris, and now I hate it. It's an awful game. Don't, don't play it. But these players should continue playing, because they're doing pretty good. Or checks at 3.07 now. ID Kirby 467. Very, very large lead. Transition at about 20 lines. Just that for a raw check, bit of indecision on that T piece, but uh, worked out completely fine. No problems there. Heavy with another Tetris, 500k. Uh, he passes at 121 lines. I guess this uh, last Tetris should be a 560 transition for Kirby. It is going to be. 19 has begun. Watch out with his last Tetris available. Should be able to pass 400k, but Kirby already on a tag and a score of Tetris on level 19 already. Watch holding out for this Tetris, but uh, might not be able to survive transition at this rate. Things looking very messy, and Watch is going to be done there. Unfortunately, not a single line burned on level 19. He's going to be done at 4.02. So Kirby, 6.11, is going to take game two. It's one to one. And we got already from both players, so let's waste no time. Let's look to both. Let's go for game three in three, two, one, Tetris. Cobra 6.731, welcome to the stream. <laughs> True. What do we have here? We have some uh, NES Tetris for uh, the Champion Summit Season 18. Champion Summit for the Unaware is a tournament for the uh, people who have won their respective divisions from uh, divisions 3 to 5. So as you see underneath their cameras, uh, Kirby was the winner of Division 4B. Rorschach was the winner of Division 5C. So it's effectively a uh, Champion of Champions format, which is used in 
few sports. I know it's used in snooker specifically, which is a sport that I follow. Might not be the most topical reference, but it makes sense. Whereas Heroes of Hoenn, uh, I don't know, wait for Tugi about it? Like, I'm not here to just be Tugi. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I'm I'm here to be Blagmeister. And I'm here to give out a score update. But Kirby with that uh before, I think. Kirby with that something. Mr. 125 for a track of 154. Both players with a B score on their uh, top score of, I was going to say today, Rorchank is an emulator player as you can see, so I might just uh, have that saved. Yes, these are the privileged few who are able to play in the Champion Summit. So Kirby winner of Division 4B, won 5 out of his 6 sets, only falling short to Blazier, 34 points of the season. Watch out the winner of Division 5C, also went 5-1, and one, only losing to Mendion. And that was a bit of a cider as well, so Rorchak very much capitalizing on his points in that season. Being 31 overall. As you can imagine, Kirby definitely the favorite here, being the uh, higher division. So it does have the higher PB with that 1.235. Check with the, the 68. Pass a trick that said good luck trans. Uh, thank you for your uh, allyship, random truck. We're chilling here. Uh, 91 lines for both players. 312 for Rorchak, 332 for Kirby. Close one at this point in the game. Kirby with a J Tuck. Nice double well, gonna get another Tetris. Watch out with the skim, going to take a Tetris for himself. Maybe transmission. The transmission is to be cool. Sunglasses emoji. Kirby has passed 400k, Rorchak gonna do the same, 418 to 426, very necky this one. Both now with two more Tetrises possible before transition, with three burns available. Be uh, yeah, just edging this one out a bit. Got a few more lines to play with. Rorschach is going to transition there at 490. Going to be going to have about a Tetris advantage. Yet transitions at 522. It is on. Maybe not with a built Tetris uh, setup yet. Rorschach already getting a Tetris. Kirby having to. Uh, Build up for this one. I'm only gonna get one there. Is 
Sempro, what the fuck? That's... That is very concerning. Oh, we got a rip in the chat from Kirby! Misses the long bar left! No! Kirby gonna be done at 5.54, Rochek! Rochek, you need 5.55. Five, 5.55k five. Five, 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 okay. to win. And that Tetris is gonna do it! Rochek takes game 3. It's now 2-1. to one. It is the Hawk number. Wow, are you a Cuba or something? That's the like both. Let's go for game four. We'll begin in three, two, one. Tetris! Already an S spin from Rorschach. Maybe could have been avoided by uh, stacking a bit differently. That's not going to bother him. Gets a Tetris to begin here. 24,000. Rorschach now 2 1 up. He wins this game. He completes uh, a seed upset. But uh, Kirby still ample opportunity to turn this into a decider. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, that annoying uh, S shape hole there, or Z shape hole, I guess. Finally able to reopen it and make it vanish like a magician. Holy shit, no way. I wonder who that is. Oh, we had the same score briefly for a second. Briefly for a sec- I feel like that's redundant, or whatever. Sometimes you use flamboyant language, but it doesn't actually mean what you want it to mean. You say it anyway, because thinking about words before you say them is way too much effort. You know what isn't too much effort? Giving out a score update. We got uh, ID Kirby at 150, or check at 153. Once again, very close this one. Last game was uh, only differing by one Tetris into tra to transition. Emperor, you do not have ample qualifications to give uh, segue ratings. I only accept them from uh, registered professors of segues like, uh, I don't know, Heist Online? He said there's a chicken and waffles place here called GG's Game of Fuel. Holy shit. That's great. Raw track almost dealt with this dig. Going to tuck the L. There we go. Have trouble with an L tuck in game one, so glad he has rectified that mistake. 197 for Raw Trapper Kirby on a complete tear is now 315 already. Another Tetris from Raw Trapper, but that's not going to catch up too much. Got a bit of a backlog to clear through now. No bias, thanks. Reopening the well. Simul Tetris, I think. 
Okay, we're now 110, 120,000 points in the lead. Uh, yeah, certainly putting him in pretty good contention to uh, take this match all the way. Raw check, back open again, gonna get another Tetris. Gives himself briefly within 100,000 points. So definitely not insurmountable. A nice adjustment there for the S piece. Kirby Tetris Freddy, Tetris for Kirby 478. Kirby passing 500k, 112 lines. This has potential to be a very high pre-transition game. Our check still tracing through the uh, 300k uh, section of his game. Be able to pass 400k before transition, though. I say that. There we go, 400,000 now, but an eye dependency to deal with. But the situation to be a bit more comfortable, but he is going to transition with a clean ball at 425. So immediate burning may need to be done. It's going to say for parity's sake, but uh, things looking a bit less. Uh, even less comfortable for Raw Check. Kirby, 621 for 138 lines. Almost a 200,000 point lead. Check still trying to dig through this. The jagged board on the right hand side. A few miss drops. This is very quickly spiraling out of control. But now there's anything that can be done. Rorschach is going to be done at 4.39. So Kirby with 7.03 into 21 is going to take game 4. It's a decider this one. And now we have a ready from Kirby. It's decider time. Best of luck to you both. Make it a decider to remember. Let's get going in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Check already with a dig. Not Tetris as of yet. Kirby also burning. Seems to be a drought starting this game, but Kirby is finally going to get a Tetris there. Raw check back open. There we go. Immediate long bar. That's what you like to see. Wouldn't want to see an early top up from either player, but Kirby, very dangerous board now. Misses the T-spin. As long as he can get this S over, should be fine. Is able to get the S over. <sighs> Danger avoided from Kirby. Yeah, this is looking like a bit of a suffer seed, at least at the beginning. Might uh, pick up in quality. Let's see. Yes, the winner of this, as I mentioned earlier, will be playing the winner of Warbent and ZXVYE, which is the next matchup after this. Very exciting. 
for them to, of course, the winner of Division 3A. Went perfect uh, this season, 5-0. And ZXVYE, the winner of Division 5D. Going 4 and 2. Winning on, uh, I believe it was game difference. Yeah, game difference, and that's only because uh, they did have two penalty points. Kirby looking to reopen here is at 175. Rotrek is at 191. Kirby with two back to back Tetrises. I haven't really seen Raw Track clean in uh, this side of game. Could have played those pieces quite uh, differently to uh, get back open. But uh, it's not the focus now. He's got a dig to deal with. Kirby back open now. 272. Raw Track 206. Kirby definitely not on as great of a pace as last game, but still a respectable lead. One that has the opportunity to only keep on building. Kirby passing 100 lines, 320. Rorschach 238. Rorschach is clean. Kirby with a misshift of a S piece. Going to uh, yeah, probably narrow the deficit. We'll see how well Rorschach can keep his board clean. Okay, transition not a million miles away now. Watch track 308, Kirby 354, so we're within 50,000 points now. Kirby 3, more Tetris as possible with perfect. We'll take that L burn. Still two Tetrises before transition, should be able to pass 400k. Yeah, this one uh, a lot closer now than it was looking uh, 20 or so lines ago. Kirby going to transition to level 19 at 425. Raw check at 383. Kirby already with a Tetris 449. Raw check currently clean. Tetris ready. Oh, waiting to reopen. It's going to reopen in time. What triggers the transition? Firstly, welcome in. Uh, new viewer, Swinch. Thank you for joining the stream. The transition is triggered at the 130 line mark from level 18. Although that uh, number does differ depending on which level it is. So this tournament is all level 18 starts, but uh, level 15 and even below are available in Classic Tetris League. I was watching uh, Rorchak's dig. Rorchak needs 534 from Rorchak going to misdrop on the left. And Kirby is going to take it. Rorchak probably not able to know about uh, Kirby's top out until after it had already happened. Simul top out there. Only three lines difference. That's going to be Kirby. With the much more prolific 19 game. 
than how short it was. He says I got lucky, but you you did you were the better player. Kirby will be moving on to the semi-final. GG's. Very well played. Which we do now have, so let's go for it. Let's select you both. Let's begin game one. We will commence in three, two, one, Tetris. Do you think if when this match gets done, if both players are available, we can do the semi winner of this match? I don't think so, because there's another match after this that Tugi will be restreaming, like straight after this. I believe. It's already uh, up high in a dig. Looks very survivable, but uh, a head shake is indicative that uh, this is not how he wanted to start things. Going to get a Tetris. Some more burning needs to be done. Zed with the early lead, actually, 124. All burnt at 104. Okay, good. I'm just checking some summit info right now. I will be briefly looking back and checking that there has been no top outs. Because <laughs> I only have one screen. Yeah, two you responding to you there in the channel. That's kind of the idea. We like to do top four all in one as well. Second screen is quite useful. So I've heard. Unfortunately, I have a chronic lack of desk space. But I'll, I'll probably remedy that at some point. Okay, uh... And the 65 to 70 line mark for both players. Zed 295, Wolvent 273. Wolvent has the advantage of being clean. Zed, the advantage to take to get back open. Oh, strange first drop from Wolvent there. Seem to be any rhyme or reason for it. Maybe a lack of concentration, I'm not sure. Uh, gonna get a Tetris all the same, just a few more burns needed to be taken. What about now? 323 Z, 324. Close one once again. That's why I love same piece sets matches. I don't care if they take too long to set up and they're ultimately a bit pointless. They're, they're, I, I just enjoy watching them and commentating on them more. And that's just my subjective view. Wank going very aggro here. It's going to pay off though with the Tetris. 356 and another one to move to 379. 
And another one to move to 402. Now 402 to 405. So many necks indeed. More necks than you can handle. Too necky for Twitch, some would even say. But I think they can just about handle it for now. As both of these players are handling their last few lines before the transition now. All lines at 4, 48, Z at 4, 30. Oh, nice JTEC setup there by Warvent. Warvent, a person I'm quite familiar with, but uh, not for the reasons you may expect. Uh, we knew each other in the Cuban community a few years ago. And then I was tipped off randomly a few months ago that... Uh, this was the guy I used to know. That guy has transitioned it around at 520 and already has a Tetris to begin. 19 play. Said already on 19 now. 473, but we'll bounce at 577. So we'll able to capitalize on the last few lines of 18. More than said, it would seem. Both of these guys have been scoring quite prolifically on 19 already. Dead for the Tetris there. 5 at 27. Warband 6 at 33, though. Warband is ahead by a few lines, but still has the definite lead. Hmm. More bands than he wanted to take here. And that T is unfortunately only going to prolong things. Gets back open, but uh, awful parity is uh, yeah going to slow this one down a bit. Oh, but Zed, that's going to be fatal actually. Yeah, Elmas drop on the left. Uh, you can see Zed's going to be done at 582. So Warband 675. It's going to take game one. GG's. Yeah, we've got 7D and already from both, so let's get it started. Game 2. Oh, I almost copied in the wrong thing. Game 2, let's go. That's all I can. 3, 2, 1. Tetris. Okay, I was just trying to notice this to see if the pieces were in fact the same. Yeah, there was a burst of S J S J O uh, S <laughs> S J S J S, which is pretty distinct and easy to recognise. Both Tetris ready. Is that gonna get a Tetris there? Well, about the same. Already at 71,000 to begin. Nice adjustment for the long bar. All bent, uh, proving the stronger force on 19 in the last game. Zed only lasting to level 21 in that affair. Definitely the favourite coming from the uh, highest division possible in this tournament. Uh, being Division 3. But a Division 5 player. But uh, yeah, both clearly prolific in their own right. All that undefeated in terms of uh, match record. Season 5 and 0, only dropping a total of 5 games across his 5 sets. As a 1.333 on the dot million score. So it's still with a 1.1 though, so uh, definitely not anything to shake a stick at. 
for the double well is Tetris Freddy going to get the Tetris. Three long bars in a row there. Unfortunately, only one of them uh, fairly useful. I think in both matches today we've had the person on the left on console. Let's see, we'll bounce more uh, rainy capture. Said on emulator, I would very much assume. Not just because it looks clean, but because I saw a cursor hovering around in between games. <sighs> Miss drop there for Z. <laughs> I'm laughing about it now. I think it's all over though. <laughs> Unless. Oh no, that missed flip of the L is going to be it. Zed done at 2-11. Leaves his seat in a state of uh, bewilderment. Wolvent is going to take game two. Already at match point. GG's. There we go. Both players on the correct seed, so let's get it going for game three. Best of luck. We'll begin in three, two, one. Tetris. Yep, L-O-S start. Everything seems to be synchronized. But uh, already not synchronized to our very eyes as uh, Zed is quite aggressively pushing down. Strange situation for Wallbent, certainly shouldn't be having to burn at this height. Seems, uh, yeah, quite annoying. Gonna get the, row, uh, the column 2 Tetris. Gonna say Rory 2. We haven't had a dirty Tetris in uh, either of these matches. At least I haven't noticed any. I don't know whether that's an encouragement or not, but uh, do with that what you will. <laughs> Both players uh, scoring Tetrises. Zed with 1, moving to 101. Or at 97,000. Wolvent has cruised through these last couple of games, it seems. Zed will want to uh, try and claw back what he can. Try and see if uh, he can make more out of this match. It's going to be difficult. Wolvent seemingly very consistent, which is how he got into the Champion Summit in the first place. So, uh, yeah, almost certainly going to be a Division 2 player next time around. I say almost certainly, I just mean certainly. Zed Tetris there, we said 200,000. Pretty close this one, a lot to say here. Tetrises are in sync. 226 plays 237. Interestingly satisfying score there from Zed. Briefly had 226, 226. Don't see that too often. It's the power of push down, you create new interesting uh, score combinations. Or Bance going for the S spin, hits the S spin. Very nice. Not Tetris ready yet, though. Ample time to set up, though. Tetris for Warband 332, Z322. 
Very, very good indeed. Then I'm going to just take a few more burns than maybe you'd expect and not getting a nice piece for this situation. Long bar dependency is formed on column two now. Got rid of the bar dependency, but still more burns before he can score another Tetris. Is it in a very annoying situation? Finally going to get the Tetris, means the 357. The ball band has taken that small burning situation in his stride. It's now 446. Now 469 compared to Zed's 384. Orlando's are 12 lines behind, so has even more leeway than uh, he originally realized. Passes 500k, does Wolvant at 105 lines. It's an intimidating score. Wolvant wanting to get this over as quick as possible. Zed continuing to burn, unfortunately. Chances are uh, unfortunately slipping away before his very eyes. All that is just an absolute tear. Tetris is there. It's a 583 at 117 lines. Is that going to transition at 428? Good opportunity to get back clean. Then the uh, pieces aren't being quite nice. Zed entering level 20 is now back down to the bottom of his board. Wolvent still on level 18. Two more touches as possible with one burn available. Oh, situation for Wolvent and Essence Z burst is not going to uh, treat him particularly well. And a burst of long bars there. Luckily, the burst didn't end before he was able to use one of them. Transitions at 639. Very, very well done to Warband for uh, the 18 game. But can he put up a, an amazing performance on 19 as well? 6.93 now for Warband, 4.99 for Zed on level 22, 5.27 now. In terms of true lead, it may be approaching or at 200,000 for Warband now. Zed trying to play as efficiently as possible. But uh, pieces right now, unfortunately, not allowing him to get Tetris ready. Zephyr says, put Wallband to Div 1. I mean, that uh, might be in order in not too long. Obviously, we'd all like to see how he do, does in Division 2 first. Went 865 midway through 23 now. Said so definitely could be a uh, higher paced game, but 661 on level 25. Can't be too mad about that, but Warband is uh, just uh, crushing hopes and dreams. <laughs> I, I just. Playing an immaculate game of Tetris here. Well, went 989 now. Midway through at level 25. It's going to max a 199. Now A22. Well, went with the opportunity to beat Zed's PB here. They're almost on level 28 now. Just 11 lines left to go, now 7 lines left to go until transition to kill screen.
Oh my god, the dig from Wallvan is not going to come to fruition. A60, the top out, but I don't think Zed will be able to match that. 801 still managed to get an 800k out of this affair. That's going to be Wallvan with A60. It's going to see him to a sweep. Win in this quarterfinal match. It's going to take him to the semi-finals, the top four. GG's. What a game to finish it off. <laughs> even though those people have ever drives and even have the ROM on their SD card. And yet, for some reason, oh my god, the sunset is so... <sighs> I just looked out my room, the sunset's so nice. Um, well, Orlando Gave is ready. Mel's ready. Ready to go. Game number one, last quarterfinal. In three, two, one. Tetris, Tetris, Tetris. Colin switched me this. <laughs> oh, I love this community. But usually I think I've seen it all and then something happens like that. And then it's just like, wow, so beautiful. <laughs> I mean, that is... <laughs> I remember Messix telling me, telling me that they lost to someone ridiculous, like ridiculously funny. I mean, not for Messix, but for me it was very funny. Um, I guess I can't say who it was since that'd be slightly toxic. Um, Morlando with a very dirty Tetris, nicely done, burning it down. 50,000 for Morlando, 31,000 for Mel. Players just starting off here. I mean, then again, Messix has like half an elo point, so I don't think Colin even gets that much for that. Uh, basically, exactly the same score 109 for Morlando, 112 for Mel. Morlando getting a Tetris, Mel getting a Tetris, Mel gonna hit the Z spin. And a Tetris for Morlando. So, yeah, not not much in it. Both players Tetrising. Not a significant lead on either side. Nice, nice, nice adjustment there by Morlando. It's a nifty little one, the one for the S to the Z tuck, but it's nice to see. Good uh, level management there by Mel, I don't think that's a word, but basically he burnt down those two lines very nicely. 229 for Mel, gets the Tetris, goes up to 251, Morlando at 246. Morlando getting up high, ter terrible TPs that force him to build a lawnmower dependency. Uh, but he's able to fill it in, but that SP is forced to build another dependency. Is Tetris ready? So, but covers up the well as Bar is currently taking its time. Orlando opting for a solve with a delayed burn. And it looks like it's going to work out 304 for Orlando. 303 for Mel. Uh, the same scores once again. Mel, though, with a slightly cleaner board. Morlando was looking for a dirty Tetris. That would have been a perfect well transfer, but in the end, has to burn a little bit, but it's clean now. 331 for Morlando. 332 for Mel.
catches from Orlando. Mal's left side is uh, a little bit empty. As a J dependency over to the left, which is one of those moves, creating J dependencies on the left, that in theory you shouldn't do, but in reality it just always works out, so you should do that. Orlando, nice fits there. Uh, can I get a Tetris 445 for Orlando, 388 for Mel? Mel's board could really, really, really use the T-piece. S-piece works. Gonna get him Tetris ready at least. Some not-so-bad delayed burns there by Mel. Um, trying to keep the well open. Didn't work out. Did get a Tetris out of it. Apparently, gonna have to burn though before he can get any more Tetrises. About the transition. Get a transition with that single uh, at 465. More Lando yet to transition. Currently at 521. Had a clean board, but went into a bit of a mess just as he was transitioning. Some good burns here to slowly bring this down. Having to, do, to finish the stig on 19. LPs to the left. Lots of LPs to the left. Now is a Lombard dependency. Orlando getting up high. Oh, was that a 30 Tetris? I just completely missed the score, but it looked like one. Either way, Orlando's clean, gets a Tetris, level 21, 585. Mel has been Tetrising here, so is catching up. 557 for Mel. Both players are clean. Tetris for both, 614 for Orlando. 587 for Mel. Mel getting a Tetris for Orlando, getting a Tetris 642 for Orlando. 614 for Mel. Orlando, though, Lombard dependency is get, was getting nastier and nastier, but is able to fill it in and now has a clean board. Oh, some miss shifts there, losing Das. But Orlando able to get back on his feet. Is getting up high now. Needs to hit this L spin. Doesn't hit it. Not quite a death sentence yet. But is getting higher and higher. 684 for Morlando. 682 for Mel. But Morlando is burning out of this. Mel is Tetris ready. Just waiting for a bar. And the bar comes just as Mel covered it up. So while Morlando has been burning. And has now eventually set up this center well Tetris. But some annoying pieces, causing some awkward board, awkward burns, and now a very awkward board. Seven hundred thousand on the nose for Morlando. Seven eighty-two for Mel. Mel is about a level ahead, but Morlando's board not in the state to Tetris. So advantage to Mel. Morlando needs to burn out of this very quickly. And probably also hope that Mel slows down, because Mel has a higher run runway now at this point. 884 here for Mel on level 27. Morlando, the 26 Tetris is going to go up to 758 into 27, but now over 100,000 points behind. It was only a level or two where Morlando was burning and Mel was Tetrising, but Mel making it count. And now this game... Just a formality. Mel gonna be able to take game number one. As Morlando tops out. It was a great effort from Orlando. But 25 burning. Led to his demise. And Mel. Gonna secure the max out. Nicely done.
Yay, level 30. <laughs> I guess increment the next two? What would that be? 0B? Yeah, go 0B. That'll be. Alright, both players ready. Game number one. Game number two, actually. In three, two, one, Tetris. I actually forgot to check that the same piece that's worth the same last game. I mean, it did feel it did feel very even, and the same pie the pieces are the same this game, so it's probably fine. Mel, Mel, Mel is in a lot of danger. All of the sun still may be survivable. Oh my Christ, Mel is in the Himalayas and trying to find his way back home and is somehow actually doing it. to the left side. Mel. Oh, just as he was about to be done with it. Hangs a T on the left. Able to get a bar over, so really that just prolonged the dig for a little bit longer. And in the end, Mel's gonna survive, but that was pretty outrageous. I was gonna say stupid. It's stupid in a good way. But it was also outrageous. Either way, Morlando, therefore, taking a slight advantage here at the beginning of the game. Currently at 121. Uh, six lines behind of Mel at 85,000. So the lead remaining at around 60,000, now 40,000 for Orlando after Mel got that Tetris. A pair exchanging Tetrises right there. Oi, 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 Orlando. Getting a dirty Tetris, working out perfectly. 265 for Orlando. D27 for Mel, who's six lines ahead. So other than that ridiculously unsurvivable dig from Mel, it's been mostly even here on the 18th side of the game. Tetris from Orlando goes up to 315, Mel at 253. 
384 for Merlando. Creates a lot more dependency over to the left side. It's going to be fine as he's able to fill it in. That was for Merlando. Goes up to 407. Mel at 326. Merlando just set up a delay bits and got away with it. Is going to get the SPs to get Tetris ready. Oh, he hangs an L piece. Bit of a weird hang. But doesn't have many burning options now towards the right side. So now has to burn this down from the top. And that Z piece is an awkward solve. Now needs to get a J piece over. And doesn't have Das for that J to go over. So now needs to try and tap that Lombar over and... Isn't able to do it, so Merlando tops out at 413. Mel needs 414. So one more Tetris will do it. A couple of lines will as well. 414. Score to get for Mel. We'll probably just do it with a Tetris. There you go, Tetris ready. And there's the bar, there's the Tetris for the win. Mel, one game away from the semifinals. But even if he does get that S piece, it's still going to be ridiculously hard. But somehow, got the S and somehow made it work. <laughs> so what do you know? Uh, 1C? I don't know. Both players are ready. They're probably on the right seed. Game number 3. In 3, 2, 1, Tetris. Oh, Orlando missing a tuck. So the players will not be uh, <laughs> starting out stacking the same for the first part of the game. Mel getting the first Tetris, Orlando still having to do a bit of digging out of this situation. In fact, decides to just go for a dirty Tetris and will be rewarded with that bar. After everything that's happened, Orlando now playing with a clean right. Well, I was going to say, but then hangs the J piece over to the left side. Now this is actually quite a big problem. Able to burn off a couple of lines at the top. So smart burning here at the top, but of course gets a pair of lombars when the well is already closed shut. But finding some burns here, Morlando. Looks like Morlando's gonna be fine. Gonna burn off that L piece to the right side. And after that double, Morlando is clean once again. Does find himself behind by 100,000 points now. Got a Tetris to shorten that gap just a little bit. But Mel gonna be able to get a Tetris as well. Orlando burning off that single. Feels like there's been quite a lot of bars this game, but not necessarily the best timing. Lots of bar bursts and such. Tetris for either player. 185 for Orlando, 263 for Mel. Mel seems to have hung a bar over to the left side. It doesn't look like it's going to be a huge duck. Yeah. Huge deal of trouble, just gets the next bar over. Both players now Tetris ready. More 
Orlando playing up high. Not the best S piece has covered up the well and is now going to be able to take a double there with the J piece, but still quite a bit of danger of a nice split double. And now after a couple of singles, Orlando re-upping the well once again. But the lead still hovering around 100,000 points here for Mel. Jumping back and forth between 80 and 100,000. Now back up to 100,000 as Mel gets that Tetris. Morlando with a Lombard dependency. And now that Lombard dependency is getting harder and harder to reach as Morlando hangs the JPs. An indecent gesture there from Orlando. Apologies to all the kids watching this stream, with the millions and millions of kids. But of course. <laughs> Mel going to be able to take game number three and advances to the semifinals to play Armstrong. Players are ready. So game number one in three, two, whenever the players stream delay, I don't know, something, something. The players will start soon. And it's game number one of uh, the quarterfinals. Or Division 4A's representative, Dylan Armstrong. And of course, Mr. FEQ, former winner of the Champion Summit, 6 to 7 edition, beat Cheetah in the final. That's, yeah, Cheetah in the final. Ah, uh, that was the one where. Was it? I think Mr. FEQ played Al in the semis, and Al, what Al didn't say is that if he were to go to the final, he would have literally had to leave since he had to go to work. Um, or I think maybe it was running too long or something, but either way, it was a great deal for everyone that Mr. FEQ won that match um, and then went on to win the tournament, or else uh, maybe nothing would have happened. Who knows? So far, Mr. FEQ with the uh, annoying Lombard dependency over to the left, mostly clean board otherwise. 72,000 at the moment. Gets the bar just as they cover up the well, but gets the next bar over. Armstrong at 76,000. Mr. FEQ at 77,000. Uh, Armstrong, though, getting a touch right there to take the lead. As Mr. FEQ is still burning. This is actually a very nasty Lombard dependency, which they're just able to open up, but that left side is completely cut off. And now with that double, maybe th pieces can move over to the left side. They've opted for that to cover up the well on the right side, but now another hang of the bar, and now Mr. FAQ in a lot of trouble. Mr. FAQ is going to be done at 85,000, and Armstrong at 170 is going to take game number one. The score wasn't centered. That's not good. Gotta love the greedy quick tap into Das Loss. Oh, don't you just know it? Don't you just know it? Uh, I can't wait till we're at a point where people are actually so good at this game that even with Das, they're just amazing. Like, they can just do Scamper's quick tap thing. Where you don't lose DAS, but you have like half the frames to pull it off, and most people can't get it to work whatsoever. But imagine you could just do that for every single piece. One day, one day when uh, robots take over and we have to merge with them to have any chance of survival, maybe the robots can make us better at Tetris. Either way, 68,000 for Mr. FAQ. 24,000 for Armstrong. Oh, I just had a freeze there for Mr. FAQ, but stream is fine. Just got scared for a second. 
Seems to be a standard start here for both players, just getting their opening Tetris's Mr. FAQ yet to burn. Of course, as I say that, sets up a delayed burn. But is gonna uncover the well right there and get the next Tetris with that bar. 117 for Mr. FAQ, 96,000 for Armstrong. Alright, so it's been an even start, and it's continued on. Both players at around about 160. Now both players around about 190. So not more than a couple of thousand points separating the two players at the moment. Mr. FAQ. Opening the well, gonna get that Petrus. 213, 214 for Armstrong. Right now, really just going Tetris for Tetris. There really isn't much to say at this point. <laughs> They're both just stacking clean. It's nice to see. Let's try FAQ though, getting up high. It's gonna take a horizontal burn with that bar. Probably waiting for a J piece. It's gonna get the J piece, but only after creating a couple more holes here. That's turning into a bit more of an awkward situation. But after the slideshow can concludes, uh, we see that Mr. FQ has burnt out of it, gotten a Tetris, 275. Uh, Armstrong, slightly in the lead at 289. So it was even. Now it's like a half a Tetris lead for Armstrong. Uh, at the same line count. So yeah, once again, these players have uh, really given me nothing to say <laughs> for the 18th portion of this game. They're both just playing very clean, very solid, taking the burns when necessary. Neither player on any world record pace, but very solid paces for comp. Both looking at probably mid-500 transitions. Uh, assuming that they can keep Tetris in cleanly until the transition. Tetris for Mr. FAQ goes up to 416. Armstrong at 411. Has a lot more dependency down the middle, but is going to get the bar... Uh, ZNS combination gonna create a Lombard dependency, but Armstrong was able to fill it in and got his board clean and eventually got a Tetris 441 to 440 by Mr. FAQ. Only about 23 lines to go for both players. Ooh, I don't know if that was a misdrop or just a really last second adjustment there by Mr. FAQ. It's gonna work out perfectly though. Everything's fine. Tetris for Mr. FAQ. 488, Armstrong with a Lombard dependency on column 2 here. Now has the option to burn with an L should it come, but does get the bar. Was actually set up for a dirty Tetris right there. Um, is now only 12 lines away from transitioning to 19. And this board is looking quite dangerous, but some very, very smart adju adjustments. Very smart decisions there for Armstrong. And Armstrong just in time, two lines to go, has a completely clean board. Uh, but either way, Mr. FAQ has transitioned to level 19 at 560, taking advantage of Armstrong's dig at the end. Armstrong entered 19 at 500,000, but now at 524. Hello, Heist. How are you doing, my friend?
Armstrong doing some burning. Mr. FAQ was holding out for a bar and has now decided, after getting set bar, to start burning it down and is clean now. Both players is, in fact, clean now. Armstrong with the Tetris is looking for a roof burn. 558 for Armstrong, 596 for Mr. FAQ, and Mr. FAQ is gambling quite a lot here with that left side, but very nice double, and does get the bar over. So some really, really good play there by Mr. FAQ. There you go, Mr. FAQ with a Tetris goes up to 634. Armstrong slightly behind at 593, but is going to get a Tetris back, goes to 620. And about same line count, so slight advantage here for Mr. FAQ. Both players playing clean. Armstrong, pair of singles into a Tetris, 651 for Armstrong, 665 for Mr. FAQ. Found a live... Oh god, that sounds like the most terrifying... Like, sounds like the most terrifying thing of all time. Uh, I'm, I'm okay, I just got home from work. Slightly tired. Well, Mr. FAQ here really needs an L piece. That piece combination going to burn off that single up top and open up for a Tetris 731 for Mr. FAQ. 743, though, for Armstrong, who has now taken the lead. It looks like Mr. FAQ was doing a bit of burning while Armstrong was able to keep it clean. Has a lawnmower dependency, t decides to take the Tetris, does Armstrong, currently at 784. Bit of an awkward board, but that L piece is going to go a long way with leveling it up. Currently, Armstrong at 794, Mr. FAQ at 801, both at the same line count, so only a couple of thousand points separating the two players right now. And both players are clean. Mr. FAQ at 835, gonna get another touch, goes up to 869, Armstrong at 833. Mr. FAQ taking a touch right there goes up to 937. Armstrong at 873. Both players have the same amount of touches to go, and Mr. FAQ is ahead by one. Oh, Mr. FAQ, that's a terrible square piece. Is most likely going to cost them one Tetris right there, but is able. Get a couple of burns. Oh, and Armstrong. Armstrong in huge danger. Armstrong's going to top out at 946, but Mr. FAQ with that Tetris is going to PB. No, they're not. Oh, my God. I read it wrong. I read 1.013. But either way, max out. <laughs> max out there for Mr. FAQ. I actually can't read. Oh, my God. All right, both players ready. Now into game number four, and just a few minutes ago, Armstrong was 1-0 up, now Mr. FAQ has two match points before them. This is the first of two opportunities to close out the set and advance to the next round, where they would face the winner of Mel and Morlando. Which is final quarterfinal that is to be played. Hopefully, I think there we're talking about Tuesday. And since we only have like <laughs> not a lot of time to actually finish this tournament, which is great, I'll, I'll like summit. Uh, summit back in the day was really like I don't I don't understand how I did it back in the day, just like with the scheduling. Because it's one thing, like, because now we're doing the top eight matches, the, yeah, the, the quarterfinal matches separately. Uh, right now, Armstrong at 98,000, Mr. FAQ with that touch, because up to 94,000, both players clean. Um, but before we used to do all the eight matches, not the eight, uh, seven matches, from the quarterfinals to the final, all in one broadcast. 
And trying to... And you only had a week to schedule. I think we've got... Basically until the end of the CTLC... Until the next season, I guess. Um, so I think we have slightly more than a week this time around. But back in the day, you only had... <laughs> you only had one week to finish the tournament. You can't delay CTL. Uh, because, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you just have to finish it. And... I don't know, sometimes you'd end up with people from Australia playing against people on the west coast of America. So you can imagine what kind of fun that is to schedule a whole eight-player tournament <laughs> in one broadcast, try to make every match happen. It's... I don't get it, man. Uh, Armstrong, ooh, hung a T, but gotta tuck the L piece in. Decides not to film the Lombard Dependency on the left side first, but takes a Tetris to alleviate a lot, a lot of pressure. And, uh... After a couple of burns, the Lombard Dependency is now just a J Dependency, which he's able to fill in. 202,000 for Armstrong. 197,000 into 221 for Mr. FAQ after that Tetris. Armstrong with... Two Tetris... Yeah. Two Tetrises in quick succession. So, judging on pace, it's round about even once again. Two fifty-four for Armstrong. Gonna get a Tetris into another Tetris. Goes up to two ninety-nine. Mr. FAQ six lines behind at two sixty-seven. So you could argue a slight advantage here currently for Armstrong as Mr. FAQ now has at least three lines to burn through. Or they can start Tetrising again. And those maybe three lines have turned into a much, much, much bigger mess as Mr. FAQ is in huge danger. Needs a J-piece! Yesterday and today is too late. Mr. FAQ gonna top out at 294 and Armstrong at 352. Gonna take advantage of an early top out. And we find ourselves in a decider. Alright, both players are ready for the decider. Game number five in three, two, one, Tetris. Also, uh, I th don't think I've actually revealed this, but, um, so, Kingsman did confirm earlier today, I think, that, uh, yes, if you, as a Defy player, win the summit, you can, well, you have the invitation to join Tier 2 next season, um, or I guess any other season, really. Um, you don't have to accept if you feel you don't want to make that jump already. Uh, for Div 4 players, they can move up all the way up to 2. Um, but then the the question always was for Division 3 players, why would you play? Because there is no incentive for you. Uh, so I decided, you know what? If a Division 3 player is... If a Division 3 player wins, I'll PayPal them 100 bucks. Because <laughs> why not? I I absolutely got quite a bit of Tetris money, actually. I got my CTWC winnings. And yes, US dollar. Yes, I know the Euro's tanking, so, you know, if I gave you 100 Euros, it'd be worth, like, I don't know, a couple of cents in America. <laughs> but yes, US dollars. Uh, 98,000 for Mr. FAQ, 120,000 for Armstrong. Oh, and I also, I also made like a hundred bucks from a classic Tetris Germany event where I had to play like three PAL sets and got a hundred bucks for it. <laughs> Just absolutely leeching off of them. Uh, very next neck game here. 
both playing clean. 173 for Mr. FAQ, 172 for Armstrong. Oh, and I also got my Twitch payout this month, so... <laughs> In fact, I actually made tons of money from Tetris. Absolutely wrecking. I mean, not even close for to, like, living costs anywhere. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, 221 here from Mr. FAQ, whose board is really begging for a T-piece. Got a T-piece right there. So it's not to build a Lumber Defensive with a Z-piece. Uh, currently playing Armstrong at 286. So 40,000 point lead here for Armstrong. And the uh, 40,000 point lead is now a 60,000 point lead, although Mr. FAQ, meanwhile, has been able to get clean. Both players Tetris ready. Lead staying at 60,000 points for the moment. Armstrong, though, really begging for a J-piece. Is going to get it. Fills in the square hole with a J-piece. And Armstrong now... Oh! Might have been a misflip right there. In fact, it actually definitely was. Um... Armstrong. Pair of burns right there is going to fix everything up. And well open. Got a Tetris. 386 for Armstrong. 365 for Mr. FAQ. So now just a one Tetris lead here for Armstrong. Both players Tetris ready. Although it's only Mr. FAQ who is able to use the bar for a Tetris. As Armstrong and himself in... Bit of a snafu. Was able to get a Tetris, but only after having to concede some holes here on his board. Really hoping for an L piece right now. 4.15 for Armstrong and 4.13 for Mr. FAQ. And Mr. FAQ with a much cleaner board. Although Armstrong is dirty Tetris ready here in the middle. Middle on both axes, actually. And... Is able to get that dirty Tetris. Opens up the well once again on the right side. 464 for Armstrong. 443 for Mr. FAQ. Armstrong, if he can get an L piece, which he does. Board is pretty clean. Bar, maybe a J dependency on the left side, but able to resolve that. Gets a Tetris. 489 for Armstrong. 467 for Mr. FAQ. Mr. FAQ, 514, one more potential Tetris, but will likely be burning. Yeah, it's going to burn with a single into transition at 515. Armstrong going to get the final Tetris. Slight lead here at the transition at 538. Immediate 19 Tetris for Armstrong goes up to 562, so 40,000 point lead here for Armstrong. But Mr. FAQ striking back with a Tetris of their own. Both players playing clean so far. Both players Tetris ready. Tetris for both so for either side. And Armstrong just had a misflip right there. Oh, Mr. FAQ's board is clean. Armstrong still burning out of this, but looks like it won't trouble him too much. Still needs to concede at least a uh, triple right there. Meanwhile, Mr. FAQ going to get a Tetris now into the lead at 627. Armstrong at 609. Although Mr. FAQ's left side now looking troublesome. Mr. FAQ after those misdrops. Oh, isn't able to tuck in the S piece. There may have been a way out of that. Mr. FAQ tops out at 629 and Armstrong with that Tetris. 
Uh, please don't do that. <laughs> this traffic you. Uh, is going to take game number five and Armstrong into the semis of the Champion Summit. It was a valiant effort right there. Uh, I assume maybe the Strafi Q got distracted there in real life based on uh, their message. <laughs> but either way, it was a fantastic effort getting their third max out on the Wade. Oh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, either way, um, Armstrong gonna take game number five and the set over Mr. FAQ. But yeah, either way, uh, thank you both so much for playing, uh, accepting the invite, and scheduling the match. Armstrong, we'll see you later on the top four broadcast, hopefully, well, should be later this week. And, uh, Mr. FAQ, former champion sub summit winner. Uh, thanks, Katie. That's very nice of you. Uh, wait, where's the bracket? I want to show the bracket and then, yes. There you go. Look at that. I mean, Armstrong's playing this out, but, you know, in case anything happens, I'll switch scenes back. Um, yeah, there you go. Three out of four quarter uh, semi-finalists now decided. Well, Ben, ID, Kirby, Armstrong. Will it be Mel? Will it be Morlando? We shall find out uh, whenever that match happens.